Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks for coming by to check out another video. In this video, I want to take you through an inside tip that I like to use to avoid paying the return shipping label fee if somebody tries to take me up on my free return policy. And this is the key part and they are trying to scam me in the process. Don't get me wrong, if somebody has a legitimate, genuine return, I will gladly honor that with my free return policy. Now, for some of you who say, well, you know what? I don't offer free returns, so this video is not gonna be relevant to me. I'm gonna tell you two things about that before I get into the content of this one more. Number one, uh, you should definitely check out this video that I made over a year ago. It's called Why You Should Offer 60-Day Free Returns on eBay and How to Handle Buyer's Remorse Return Request. Uh, I still stand by everything I said in that video over a year ago, so it's something you should consider. But even if you watch it and you decide, eh, it's still not for me, I don't want to offer free returns, okay, totally fine. That's totally your personal choice, but keep in mind, that what I'm gonna tell you in this video is this tip and the trick or technique, whatever you wanna call it, can still apply to you because even if your policy is explicit that it says no returns, eBay could still force you to take a return that you then have to pay for if the person claims item not as described. Now remember, item not as described claims are not always legitimate. Item not as described claims can sometimes be in reality, buyer's remorse. That often happens in the area of clothing. It can happen in any other area as well though. So everything I'm gonna show you in this video could apply to any item that someone claims item not as described, yet it's actually buyer's remorse. So let me show you uh, the example of what happened with me. And it is kind of a clothing related item. I actually talked about this in the beginning of one of my haul videos a couple of weeks ago. I mentioned that someone had made uh, a return claim on a costume that I sold. And this is the one here, sold it for $40. It's the Disney Evil Queen adult women's costume. It is new in package. As you can see here, uh, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It is brand spanking new. So one day I'm sitting around minding my own business, not bothering anybody when all of a sudden I get one of those dreaded return requests that come in. So I look at it to see what's wrong and the person says that the zipper doesn't work. Now, you know, you want to give people the benefit of the doubt sometimes. So you say to yourself, okay, well maybe, maybe there's a manufacturing defect in it or something, you know? So you wait to look at it when it comes back it really doesn't matter in the sense of approving the return because in many instances, eBay automatically approves the return anyway, which is exactly what they did in this case. And they charged me $9 to ship the item back, which by the way, didn't cost me $9 to ship it out. Uh, so they don't really care in terms of getting the lowest price because they just know you're going to pay for it. It doesn't come out on their end. Uh, so that's kind of uh, frustrating. You know, if I would have printed it out, it, it definitely would have cost less. But nonetheless, it was a $9 charge that came out, of, uh, came out of my account. So I get the item back. I take it out of bag, obviously, to look it over, see what the heck's wrong with this zipper. And of course, when I look at it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the zipper. It works absolutely perfect. Okay, there's nothing wrong. It doesn't get stuck. Uh, the person said that it kept slipping down. It's not slipping down. I'm tugging on it. I'm doing all these things. It doesn't, doesn't come down. I even have Mrs. Primetime take a look at it. That's my wife, for those of you who are new to the channel, just to get a woman's perspective on it. And uh, she's looking at it. And she's like, there's nothing wrong with this zipper. And she confirms for me that this person is just trying to use an uh, item not as described uh, to get a buyer's remorse return through. Uh, so, I did appeal it through eBay and I said in the video, and this is where I last left off a couple weeks ago, I didn't update it yet because I was waiting to do this video. I said, I wonder what eBay is gonna do here. Are they gonna side with me who has over 2000 feedbacks here, 100% positive, or the person who bought this who has nine feedback. So not even double digit feedbacks. And what happens now, I will, I will say, I don't know if this is just automated, but uh, eBay sided with the buyer and I lost the case. So now I could have at that point, what a lot of people would do is probably call eBay and complain. I'm telling you, if you do that, you're wasting your breath. They are not gonna listen at that point. The claim already went through and without any further evidence or proof on your part at that time, 
they're not going to give you the money back. So what you have to do, and this is where the tip comes in, is you have to generate uh, that proof by your future actions that we're going to do with that item. So what I suggest doing in this instance is you take the item and you relist it or you hit sell similar and you put the same exact item up, okay, which is what I did here. And you can see here that it's sold. Now it's sold for a little bit less, but not too far off. So it's sold. The person that, you know, purchases it, they get it. Wait for that person to give you feedback on the item. So if you go in and you look at the feedback on this, person wrote, it's, it's really funny. A person wrote something like, you know, fits great, you know, works perfect, whatever. You know, it's good. It's great item, all this kind of stuff. So uh, they're very happy with the, with the item. So what I did at that point now is when you want to call eBay, because now what you could do is you can make your case and you could say, and this is what I said. I said, listen, Number one, I've been with eBay with a long time, so try to use your reputation as much as possible. If you have a high feedback, if you have 100% positive, you know, use that to your advantage because that's reputation, that's you know, political capital basically that you've built up, and now it's time to use it. And so, you know, this person has nine feedback, so you know, take that into consideration. What I'm going to tell you here, but uh, you know, I had this item listed; it's new in package. Uh, you know, you tell the whole story that I just uh, told and then say someone else bought the same exact thing. You could see I just hit sell similar. I didn't change anything with the pictures. It's the same item, same pictures. That person got it, left positive feedback, said everything is fine with it. Well, you know what that person said to me over the phone? No questions asked. Person said, totally agree with you. Here's what's going to happen. And there I got the email right after I got off the call. Thank you for contacting us about case blah, blah, blah. Here's the item, Disney Evil Queen costume. We have reviewed your concerns and have reversed the outcome of the case. We will process a credit within 48 hours to your financial uh, uh, instrument. Uh, because we decided in your favor, this case, any feedback left and all detailed sellers ratings left will not affect your seller performance. In addition, any feedback left for this transaction will be uh, removed. So, uh, if you have any questions, contact us, that sort of thing. And then you could see, and this actually, this actually came before I got that message, but there's my uh, money back. There's my $9. So that's the inside tip. Don't give up on a lot of people. Uh, I think will get frustrated when they find out that eBay sided with the buyer and they'll kind of just, you know, curse about it and walk away and say, Oh man, I guess I lost that one. But um, you don't always have to lose these types of cases. Remember, build up that evidence on your side and you could then get out of having to pay for that return shipping label. And then it just sold again and went off to somebody else. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that tip. And uh, if you did, make sure that you uh, like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the other content. There's almost 500 videos. We're at like 491 at this point, all free, all designed to help you with your reselling business. So check them out. I've got a lot of other videos in the playlist section, a whole section on shipping that will save you a lot of money with all sorts of shipping tips and tricks and that sort of thing. So um, uh, remember, hit the subscribe button. Also come by to my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center and my Instagram account that's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. All those links are down below in the description section. I'll see you all back at the next video. Take care.